I'm, listen, listen, saints, you do not war in your flesh. Can I talk to you? You don't need to say anything when you get angry. Let, let, see, I'm, I'm going to find another side because y'all don't want to hear me again. Yeah. I, I'm going to talk to somebody straight down. I tell you what, let me talk to my viewing audience. You don't need to use your mouth when you're angry. You need to remove yourself from that situation. Because we don't war with the flesh. Don't be talking about I'm just like my daddy. Your daddy wasn't saved. If your daddy would have been saved, he wouldn't have acted like that. Yeah. Praise our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. We do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds. The weapons of our warfare are not are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We are instructed to war the good warfare. According to 1 Timothy 6 and 18, we are instructed to war the good warfare. What are the weapons then that we're supposed to use if we're going to go to war and do a good war? There got to be a certain weaponry that we're supposed to have if we're going to war and do a good war for the prophecies that are over our lives. Knives, bullets, guns, swords. That's not God's weaponry for us. No, brothers and sisters, let me, let me, in my sparing time, share with you what our weapons are. Our weapons are spiritual weapons. They are, number one, the weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. See, 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 prayer, prayer. R.J. White's definition, you will not find this in Webster. He is not saved, so he does not know. Prayer is the channel of communication between God and the believer which God's power is released into the earth realm because of the believer. Prayer is the channel of communication between God and the believer, which God's power is released into the earth realm because of the believer. That's why Ephesians 6 and 18 says, Ephesians 6 and 18 says, praying always with all prayer, with all prayer. Come on, say all prayer. That keeps from having to go through and name all the different types of prayers that the Hebrews do. God said, whichever one you do, I hear. Glory to God. It, the prayer of faith will heal the sick. Whichever one you do, I will hear. He said, with all prayers in supplication, 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 supplication. Sometimes, sometimes we don't pray like we ought to. We don't pray like we need to. My God, you got to go to God with your own. Oh, God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, my, 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 son. Yeah, yeah. I need to talk to somebody in warfare over your prophecy now, and you don't have words to explain it. Come on, say, oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some prayers that you can't put words to, but something deep down in your belly, something out of the belly. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's why Jeremiah, Isaiah said, call for the moaning women. Now, I need some moaning women. Put up a wailing in this house. Put up a wailing in this house. Mother, moan for your son. Come on, women, well for your sons. Moan for the streets of Sanford. Moan for the streets of Carolina. Put up a wail. And, uh, sometimes that's not a word, uh, but that's a cry from within. That's a cry from within. That's a cry from the belly. That's a cry from the soul. Oh! Oh! Sometimes you cry and you ain't saying a word. Can God understand it? He reads your tear language. <laughs> Somehow God intercepted my mama's tears. Uh, and what the devil meant for bad, God made good out of it. Uh, what should have took my life, gave me life. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, put up a wailing. Put up a wailing. Don't worry about what you say. Get in there say, oh, God. Make your face like, oh, God. Oh, God. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me talk to you, you, you New Testament sophisticated folk. 
What you mean? You need to say something intelligent. Jesus didn't say nothing intelligent. The Bible said Lazarus was dead and Jesus groaned in his spirit. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But God understood the groan. Uh, you got some stuff around you trying to die that you want to live. Because uh, it's part of your prophecy. It's part of what God called me. You got some good folk walking out of your church that need to stay in your church. You can't say nothing. Sometimes you got to reach way down. Oh, oh. Help me. Ow! Ow! Ay, 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 ay. Hey, Luz, I know you've been praying all you can for your daughter. I know you've been asking God to spit your daughter out of that situation. I know you want your daughter home because you got dreams for your daughter. You got vision for your daughter. Throw your hands up. I feel a connection to heaven here. Open your mouth and just say, oh, God. Oh, God. I can't get nobody pray in this place. I kick up my dust. Oh, God. Oh, God. Samuel the first chapter and verse number 13 there's a woman there wait a minute I'm sorry there ain't a woman there there's a woman here that woman was petitioning God because she had a husband that she loved and she was sure that her husband loved her she, she said I ain't got no playboy husband my husband loved me I want to help make his dream come true uh, he wants a man child from my belly and I can't have no baby so she went to God ay 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 that woman Hannah went to God and Hannah spake in her heart her mouth did not move not a word left her lips but Hannah was sitting on her I figured out why Eli thought she was drunk because when she couldn't say no words to come me come sick of the sick and my God my God! My God! My God! Look at here. There's some women here. You've been praying to God about birthing. About birthing. You got a good husband. You got provisions. You got dreams. You got ability. But you ain't got no baby. And you ain't going to be like Sarah and let somebody else birth your husband's dream. There's some first ladies here. There's some co-pastors here. There's some pastoring women who got visions and dreams locked up inside of them. They know what God told them when they started the ministry, but the chair is still empty. The brothers will show up, but they won't perform. But they come my sucker now, son. And there's some people here that are sick, but they heard God say they should be healed. This sickness should not be on their body. And their hearts are heavy and their wounds feel empty, but they know, they know they're supposed to be healed. They know what they're supposed to do. Sometimes you got to pull a hand. You just got to go to the hall with your mouth shut, but your heart, your spirit connected to God. Well, yeah, I do that. I do that because I ain't scared. God told me to tell you, you fit one of those conditions down on your feet right now. Something supernatural about to happen. If you're my mind, y'all Sunday, you fit that condition. There's some stuff that you're pregnant with, but you can't get birth through. There's one back there. There's one over here. There's a woman in the back over there. There's a mother right there. There's a mother over there. There's a woman way in the back. Lift your hand. Ay, 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 ay. My God. Come on, Huff. Lift your hand to God. Lift your hand to God, Huff. Come on, Huff. Cry out to God. Moan in your spirit, man of God. Moan in your spirit. Come on, somebody. Put up a moaning. Ain't nobody gonna help these folks cry out to God. Ah! Not cut out my massacre. I'll cut a moke in the lacata. He can't not have a sucker. Jacko! Oh, my kid, not a sucker. Not cut out my massacre. My God! My God! Aya! Aya! Nan and me say, Catana Saya! No, 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 no,
Nakarabokia Nawasa Yayasata Nadi Yakarama Masa Yeah Somebody cry out